Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about why the desire for Corona apps is growing, but I don't think we should build them. All right, so today is going to be a very quick video. Look, I brought back the green screen. During this isolation, during the lockdown, I'm just getting bored of trying to find new places to film inside my flat. So I thought, you know, I'm just gonna get the green screen out. That way I can put myself in exotic locations from time to time, like at the beach or at the park or in space or, or whatever. So anyway, and boredom overtakes you and you, you get the green screen back out again. But anyway, so today I wanted to talk about something which I just think is kind of funny. And it's not necessarily something that was gonna help you with your apps. Although it might. Um, so I have Google Analytics set up on our website, like, like most businesses should. And every so often I'll get like really, you know, really anal about it. And I'll go and put all these triggers in there and set up all these goals. But then I go for months without looking at it because I just sort of lose interest in it. And I'll go back and look at it from time to time. I wish I could tell you that I was always looking at it and always improving my strategy. But, you know, I don't. But I do get an email every month from Google Analytics and Google for Business saying, you know, what your top search queries were, what the top pages were, how people are finding you, everything. Anyway, so this month I got the email the other day which says, the top growing pages on our website, the top one is Corona SDK development. Hmm. And top queries, how are people finding you? Top growing queries, Corona application, Corona app, and Corona app development. So either everybody's getting really interested in Corona SDK and Lua development, or they're not looking for that kind of thing at all. By the way, my phone hasn't been ringing off the hook, so I know they're not actually looking for Corona developers. They're looking, either people are looking to download a Corona application or they're looking to build a Corona application. So, you know, there's, there's definitely a demand there, which is very interesting. However, like I said before, got to be very careful. I, I'm getting email after email from people saying, or and comment for comment in the YouTube videos by people who are putting out coronavirus related applications and getting shut down by the sensitive events policy on Google Play almost immediately. Usually it's a suspension, and if it's a third strike, then it's a suspension for their entire account, which is exactly what happened to me last month with Spanish bubble bath, which had nothing to do with it. So there is a need there. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. If there's something you could do with it, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna try to do a Corona application, right? I'm just. I know there's a demand. It would, you know, it could help a lot of people. Like, I'm, there's so much we could do as developers, but you know, there's. It's just you, you have to get past the algorithm. You have to get past the Google Play algorithm, which seems to be stronger now than it ever has before. So anyway, some funny statistics. Just thought I'd share those with you guys today. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're staying health healthy. I hope you're staying, yeah, you know, I hope you're doing well. And tonight we'll be doing our live stream at 5 p.m. UK time like we do every week. Uh, I hope to see you there and uh, have a great weekend. Bye.